Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. In this video, we'll be exploring Juneau, the second port in our seven-day Alaskan cruise on Holland America's New Amsterdam. We will sail through spectacular scenery, stop at Juneau and have a walk through town, as well as its picturesque harbour front. I'll ride the Gold Belt tram to the top of Mount Roberts, admire the fantastic and stupendous views from up there, and then go for a little bit of a hike. Join me on this not to be missed video. It was day four of our seven day Holland America cruise in Alaska. We'd sailed overnight around 297 miles or 480 kilometers from Ketchikan north to our next port of call, Juneau. If you'd like to see a review of our experiences as a first time cruiser on Holland America's New Amsterdam, please check out the video in the Alaskan Cruise playlist. It was just spectacular navigating up the narrow body of water between mainland Alaska and Douglas Island, just the other side of Juneau. We arrived in Juneau around about 10 a.m. under bright blue skies and warm conditions. We were due to be docked here for around 12 hours with a 10 p.m. sail away. We got off the ship and started walking around the port of Juneau. We were immediately struck by just how busy it was. This is probably because there was five ships of various sizes docked in the port that day that we visited. We had originally planned to catch the public bus to the Menenhall Glacier. Unfortunately, Jo was still feeling the effects of the virus that she caught in Vancouver and wasn't really up to it. We decided to have a bit of a walk around the town of Juneau and stock up uh, on some uh, medicines from the local uh, chemist or pharmacy there. Juneau is the state capital of Alaska. Its population is around 32,000 people. The population of Anchorage is around 10 times that amount and you think that Anchorage is the capital but no, Juneau is the official capital of Alaska. So I thought our ship was big, but look what's just pulled up this morning. That is monstrous. Goodness gracious, how does it even float? Unfortunately for Jo, she was feeling quite weary, uh, still suffering from the effects of the virus, and she decided to go back to the ship. I continued on to our next adventure by myself. This is the Gold Belt Tram, a gondola or cable car that travels to the top of Mount Roberts. It reaches a height of 1800 feet or about 550 meters. 
once you're at the top there's a very nice nature park hiking trail restaurant theatre and gift shop the tram opened in 1996 and has two 60 passenger cabins with it uh, being capable of transporting uh, over a thousand people per hour up the mountain it's known as a double reversible tram these cabins are joined by a common uh, haul rope and they may be move in unison as one goes up and the other one comes down tickets for this ride cost 55 us dollars or around about 80 australian dollars a little bit pricey but considering it's only operating for a few months of the year i suppose they've got to recoup their costs I was expecting there'd be quite a wait to get tickets considering the amount of people about but uh, it didn't take long to get tickets it did take about 15 minutes to queue up waiting to get on a cabin the ride up the mountain takes around about six minutes hey clear the doors please We are on our way up to the Shaw Dam. The Shaw is on the point of the mountain now. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway here in southeast Alaska. Gold Bell Tramway is owned and operated by Gold Bell Inc., which is a local Alaska Native Corporation. We were built on August 10, 1996. We will be passing through an Alaska temperate range, which averages 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. Some of the trees you may notice are western hemlock, the citrus spruce, and red oak. The citrus spruce gets its name from a Clinket Island called the Shiataka Hot. It has since been changed to Baranoff Island. It has small, sharp pines but it is the largest spruce in the world. So fittingly, it's the state tree of Alaska. The western hemlock are similar to the trees, with a droopy top. The Clinket people found this one in the Alaska Native Forest. Yeah, that's the one that we found in the Alaska Native Forest. Yeah, that's the one that we found in the Alaska Native Forest. Yeah, that's the one that we found in the Alaska Native Forest. The red alder are the green leafy trees you see. With pieces in the Alaska Native Forest. After the summer harvest, much of the time the temperature is lower than the storm. As you venture down to the sky bridge, we have Gold Bell Tram Gift. This is truly one of Juno's finest gifts. It features a gallery of genuine artifacts, so go on in and admire the quality of the work. Grand Times is one of the local artists. He does much of his work right there in the gallery. I love this here. 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 Next to the restaurant, we have the Joe Cassier with a complimentary film called Seeing Daylight. It's an award-winning documentary based on the Clinket culture here in southeast Alaska. And it features many local natives. It plays at the top and the bottom of the hour. That runs about 18 minutes. We have a tram car running every 5 to 10 minutes, so if you end up missing one, don't worry, it's a short wait. Once we reach the top, we will be unloading onto the sky bridge. The sky bridge has windows all the way around for you to enjoy the beautiful view. All that we ask is that you please don't put any of your valuable items outside of those windows, because if they drop, they're gone. Because why? Have you seen that? Yeah. Everyone, that's six outside. Everyone is out. Because I haven't seen him.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many mm -hmm. 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 I've been on quite a few cable cars in the day and I'd say that that wasn't particularly scary but the views from the top are utterly stunning fantastic it's a weird combination of a deep water port containing multiple cruise ships and snow-peaked mountains as the backdrop unbelievable after getting off the tram and taking heaps of photos and videos from that fantastic vantage point you travel along a covered walkway to the gift shop and restaurant you can stop here and get a bite to eat or a fridge magnet or t-shirt or head down the stairs to the lower observation deck this lower deck provides a slightly more obscured view of the ships and the scenery below you can follow a path along to a second cafe with another stunning observation deck as well as check out some of the totem poles and other items of cultural significance in the area there's a well-maintained path to go up to the ridge line of Mount Roberts. It's uh, easy in some places and quite steep with a number of stairs in others. Um, if your mobility impacted, you should uh, just consider going to the uh, bottom of this. If you've got moderate fitness, you can climb up to the top. Along the way, you'll be able to see quite a few different totem poles. The higher you get up the ridge line, the better the view becomes. The scenery was absolutely stunning and I was very fortunate to have a nice clear uh, view with blue skies. It's not often like this. It was also quite warm with the temperature nudging 20 degrees Celsius. There's a couple of different paths that you can take but the one I took was around about 20 minutes each way. It did get quite steep and quite rough in some sections. You've got to watch out for those tree roots as well. I made it to the top, took in the spectacular view, and then headed back down again. And it goes without saying that the way down was a hell of a lot easier than the way up. After a short while, I made it back to the restaurant and gift store. It's where I had my only encounter with a bear in Alaska. Thank goodness it was stuffed. After my strenuous walk, I got a drink and sat down on the lower deck and just admired the stunning view. We lined up and it took about 15 minutes to catch the cabin down to the ground again. I didn't mind waiting because it provided one last glimpse of these utterly amazing views. I had such a great time on the Gold Belt tram and on the ridge line of Mount Roberts. It's a pity that Joe couldn't uh, join me. I made my way back to the ship and joined Joe. I really enjoyed my stay at Janu. It's a shame that we didn't go to the Menonhall Glacier, but by all accounts, the glacier is quite some way from the viewing area because it's receded a lot over the years 
and uh, we probably missed out on seeing a, a spectacular waterfall in that area. All in all, we had a fantastic time. It was then time to sail to our next destination, which was Skagway. As we set sail at 10 p.m. in the late evening, I was able to capture the most stunning sunset pictures that I think I've ever taken in my life. There's just something about a sunset at sea that captures the imagination. I do hope you like this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notify bell so you'll never miss another upcoming video. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a coffee or smashing that super thanks button. And look out for our forthcoming videos covering all our excursions and the sights and sounds and animals that we saw on our cruise. Until next time, you take care and bye now.